Hi, good morning. Today I would like to explain uh, how what are the settings available in this machine uh, called Corfasis E70 from Philip Aspironics. So Corfasis utilizes a technique called mechanical insufflation and suffration to help patients uh, to cure their to loosen and to remove their airway secretions. Uh, and this can be an alternative to this uh, deep suctioning. And uh, most of the time, uh, when we do deep suctioning, uh, because of the anatomy, the suction catheter will always go to the right lung instead of to the left lung. So that's why most of the time the pneumonia will occur in uh, our left lung. So by using this uh, uh, cough assist, the air flow will flow into both lung without choosing the lung. And this air flow flowing in and moving out by the time the air moving out you bring up the secretion to the upper airway so that you can do a standard suctioning or normal suctioning uh, at patient mouth or nose uh, for this uh, secretion remover instead of doing this uh, deep suctioning okay so let me uh, press this uh, power button to show you what are the settings uh, available okay here you can see three buttons here. So this button uh, will allow us to access settings. And this button here will allow us to choose the menus. So once we choose a menu, we can use uh, this up and down button to navigate. And this button here is to initiate uh, therapy. Okay. So let me go to settings. Okay, inside settings, the first one is a preset. So you can choose a preset one preset 2 or preset 3 uh, this preset is to ask to let us uh, to move, to memorize uh, three different settings uh, for this uh, demo I try to use uh, utilize a preset to memorize uh, three different uh, settings under manual mode and auto mode okay so if you go to this uh, modes you can choose either manual modes or auto modes and under auto mode when auto mode is chosen, you can turn on, you can choose to turn on cough crank or turn off the cough crank. Okay. I have made a summary here. So in this example, I have preset uh, 1 for auto mode with cough crank turned on, preset 2 for auto mode with cough crank turned off, and preset 3 is uh, manual mode. So all this uh, mode uh, will allow us to set pressure, inhale flow, and uh, oscillations. So the only difference uh, between these three preset modes uh, is the time variables. So in manual modes, you, you do not need to set uh, inhale time, exhale time, and pause time. Whereas in auto mode, you need, you need to set inhale time and exhale time. But once you turn on the cough track, you are not required to set uh, pause time. Pause time is required to set when you turn off the cough track with auto mode. Okay. So what is cough track? Uh, later I will do the demo to show you. Uh, basically cough track is to allow the machine to be able to detect there's an effort, there's an inspiratory effort from patients. So once the patient start to inhale, start to trigger a breath, the machine will start the cough assist. Okay, so this is cough track. And under all this mode, you need to tell the machine how much pressure you need to inflate the lung when patient inhale, and how much pressure need to draw out from the lung when patient exhale. So, so this is called inhale pressure, exhale pressure. And inhale flow is uh, how fast you run, want to rise the pressure from exhalation to inhalation, how fast you want to inflate the lung, this is inhale flow. In mechanical ventilator, inhale flow indicate uh, uh, the setting called rise time okay it's uh, equivalent uh, to this setting called rise time uh, for the oscillations uh, this uh, machine come with a uh, new features called oscillations uh, this oscillation uh, you can decide to turn it on during inhalation phase exhalation phase or both inhalation and exhalation phase and uh, basically what is oscillation is uh, when the air moves inside the lung if you want the air to vibrate, to loosen more secretions, and when the air moving out from the lung, if you want the air to vibrate, 
to loosen more secretions, uh, secretions along the airway so this is called the uh, you have to turn on the oscillation okay to assist uh, this uh, loosening of secretion more uh, in the airway and inside the lungs so how fast the air going to vibrate the setting we call frequency you can set from 1 hertz to 20 hertz and how far how uh, strong you want the air to vibrate this is called amplitude okay the strength of the air to vibrate is called amplitude you can set 1 cm to 10 cm water okay let me focus on this uh, setting and show you so you can see here you have you can set in hue pressure as hue pressure uh, here you can see you try to see the slope of the pressure waveform this is pressure waveform so when I choose uh, uh, low in hue flow you can see the slope become lower if I choose a medium in hue flow the slope become higher when I choose a in high in hue flow uh, the the pressure will rise more aggressively you can see the pressure waveform slope become more steep okay so how do I set in hue time as hue time uh, normally based on uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the type of patient if this is adult patient the target breathing rate is 10 breath per minute I will try to set my inhale time 2 second as you time 2 second and then I expect the pause time is 2 second as well so if I turn off the cough track you need to set the pause time okay as compared to turn on the cough track there's no pause time settings okay so you can see the difference here pause time okay. So once I turn on the, when I go to uh, this oscillation, you can choose to apply oscillation during exhalation, inhalation, or both, uh, or turn it off, or both uh, this uh, inhalation and exhalations. And for this uh, demo, I choose both. And frequency, normally I will start high frequency for any patient, and uh, low amplitude, uh, 2 to 3 cm when uh, this is a new uh, patient. Uh, for this uh, demo, I will start at 5 cm. Okay. So once I confirm my setting, I press finish to let the machine to memorize my setting under preset 1. Okay. So let's start the therapy and see uh, how does it perform uh, on this uh, test lung. So for this demo, I have connected this machine with uh, bacterial filters, uh, tubing, and then uh, I have connected with this uh, catheter mount and this uh, trachea connector I have connected to this uh, infant test lung uh, to demonstrate this and for cough assist you can apply it with uh, uh, non-invasively with the mask or you can also use the mouthpiece and for those uh, invasive uh, patient on invasive ventilation uh, or tracheostomized patient you can apply a trachea connector okay, or call catheter mount here uh, you use a syringe to inflate the mask uh, cushion uh, to, to pump the air through this uh, 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 valve here okay. Okay, let me start the therapy so this mode uh, is the auto mode with cough track turned on okay, meaning you do not require to set pause time right when cough track turned on so we have set a preset in heat pressure plus 40 in heat time at 2 seconds and SU time minus 40 and SU time at 2 seconds so when cough track turn on meaning the patient need to trigger a breath so let me trigger the test lung to initiate this cough assist okay. so you can see 2 seconds the lung will be inflated and 2 seconds the lung will be deflated okay. I do it again 2 seconds air in 2 seconds air moving out and then how long the machine will pause the breathing depends to the patient. The patient can control when to when he want he or she wants to start the cough assist. As long as he's not triggered the breath, the machine will not initiate the cough assist. Okay. So this is called cough crank. Uh, turn on under auto mode. So let's go to uh, preset two. So at preset two, I have turned off cough crank press OK okay, you can see here 2 seconds machine will move the air in 2 seconds machine will move the air out and 2 seconds machine will pause the breathing so this cycle will repeat 
for six seconds, one breath. You see that? So normally, uh, we will try to perform a four to six uh, cough cycle. Four to six times, inhale, exhale, pause, consider one time. So once we done five to four to six times a uh, cough cycle, we stand by the machine and we rest the patient for about 20 to 30 seconds. And during this resting period, we can do a uh, standard suctioning at patient mouth or nose with two separate uh, suction catheter. Uh, we, out, uh, we can try, we, we try to avoid to do this uh, deep suctioning when use, uh, this is a benefit of using a cough assist. So we just do a standard suctioning. We can also, and, and then we need to repeat this uh, four to six time cost cy cycle for four to six uh, sequence or call sets, okay? Or whenever patients start to cough, secretions start to coming out, uh, we can stop uh, immediately, uh, which means we really done uh, this uh, cough assist uh, successfully. Okay, so let's go to uh, manual mood. Preset three. So under preset three, you can also turn on uh, oscillation or you can choose to turn it off okay so under manual modes when i start the therapy that you can see there is no time setting here for inhale and exhalation okay the time is controlled by this uh, uh, knob here if you move the knob to positive sign this will start inhalation and after inhalation, you must quickly move the knob to the minus sign. This will initiate the uh, exhalation. Okay, let's see. Okay. Inhale, exhale, pause. Okay, when you lift your hand from this lever, this is pause the breathing. And try to uh, monitor this uh, inhale time, exhale time from the screen when you, you, when you are using this uh, knob under manual modes okay, to control the. Uh, cough assist. Okay, let me do it again. Okay. Do it again. The machine also come with uh, this uh, foot panel to let you to maneuver uh, this uh, manual modes. You can connect to this uh, port here. Okay. This port is to connect the foot panel. Uh, this port is to connect a uh, SPO2 module if you want to uh, monitor the, the blood saturations uh, of the patient. You can also use uh, connect to this uh, uh, oxygen module or SPO2 module at this uh, port. Okay. So this demo, I'm not going to show you this. So on top of here, you can see there's a battery gauge which indicates uh, how long the detachable battery can last. Let me turn it off. So from the back of the battery, you can take out this, uh, the back of here, uh, this battery. Okay. So this is the battery. You can, the, one battery can last about 30 times or one whole day uh, if you use it in the hospital. Uh, of course, uh, at home, you, know, you try to use uh, AC power. So I hope my explanation clear enough to show you uh, why this uh, cough assist and the settings. Okay, the following video, uh, part two, I will try to show you uh, more. Okay, thank you.